Hi everyone, welcome back to our news about cybersecurity. Today we talk about how the US, China and Russia have refused to back an international cybersecurity initiative. So it seems that the next cyber war might be closer than one assumes. Anyway, what happened? The US, China and Russia, three giants, have refused to endorse a French-backed agreement designed to bolster cybersecurity. Despite the approval of 51 other countries, including all members of the European Union and 218 international companies, including tech giants. The Paris call for trust and security in cyberspace was launched on Monday and represents an attempt to set clear rules for the use of cyber weapons. At an event organized by UNESCO, the French leader Macron set out his ambitions for stronger international regulation of the Internet and better cooperation on cyber attacks foreign meddling in elections, online censorship, and hate speech. While the Trump administration is not currently supporting the initiative, US and international tech companies such as Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Samsung are backing it. All these measures include the prevention of malicious cyber activities and the theft of trade secrets through piracy and malicious software. The initiative comes after negotiations at the United Nations over cyberspace regulation failed in 2017. In addition to what states are going to agree on or not, it's our responsibility as individuals and companies to protect our information. There are already apps, like our app, Hush App, which allow anyone to easily protect files, both when storing them and when sharing them. This is one way to stop protecting oneself. Anyway, the announcement comes amid a series of events taking place in Paris, including the Forum for Peace and the Internet Governance Forum and after the commemorations of the end of the First World War attended by Presidents Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin on Sunday. We should all take a moment to remember all the victims of World War I. It was carnage. It is also a good moment to reflect on what could happen in the next war, where the cyber component will be a major one. Consequences could be dramatic. This is why we need more international cooperation on cybersecurity. So let's hope we achieve it. And in the meantime, please be safe online and offline. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe and see other of our videos and cybersecurity news. Talk to you soon.